Ja. Okay. Have you been using my door for door to chat with the time and space again? Of course not. Before I start this review, can I just say that I love that Pennsylvania has townships. I was just in Pennsylvania. I'm doing a drive to see my girlfriend, if you didn't know. And uh, since I have time, I'm about six and a half hours away from Indianapolis, I figured I'd film an album review for you guys on the road. <coughs> an album that I wanted to review, I've wanted to review since I heard it. Um, yeah, I just wanted to, to do that little fun fact. Another fun fact. While I drive to uh, see my girlfriend, I pass through West Virginia three times. Well, I start in West Virginia, then once I'm past Maryland, I'm back in West Virginia. Then once I'm in Pennsylvania from West Virginia, I go back into West Virginia for a little bit longer before I'm finally out of this state. But, again, trips to me, seeing my girlfriend, and fun facts for you aside. Hello world of YouTube, and welcome to a, uh, another album review. This time around, I am reviewing an uh, album that I wanted to discuss, and I kind of discussed briefly, and my arm's going to set you down there. There's a terrible camera angle, but it works. That I wanted to discuss with you guys because it's a freaking amazing album. It's a uh, Time's End of Majora's Mask remix by Theophany, and this is on, on my free albums of the year list, and, it's, and one of the songs, Majora's Wrath, was on my Songs of the Year Honorable Mentions list. Or it was an Honorable Mention for my Songs of the Year list for 2012. And God damn it. This record. A bit of backstory for it. I described it in one of those videos, but if you haven't seen those videos. Um, this guy, Theophany, set up a website uh, back in December, uh, back in late December when the world was supposed to end, um, with just a countdown. It was TerribleFate.com with just a countdown, and it, it had the countdown, you've met a terrible fate, have you, and the Majora's Mask sitting there, which is a perfect homage to um, Majora's Mask, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, the video game, which if you haven't played, check it out, it's a fun game, it's awesome, very, very dark, and, and creepy, but sweet, and freaking awesome, but anyway, you could sit there on TerribleFate.com and watch a countdown day after day until it was done. And when it was done, this album was available for you to, to get for free. For friggin' free. And what I think is awesome about this album is that it's not just a remix album. It's a fully orchestrated, not fully orchestrated, but orchestrated uh, remix reinterpretation of Konji Kondo's score for Majora's Mask, um, which I think is beautifully put together, beautifully crafted. It mixes the dark and creepy undertones of Majora's Mask with a lot of the beautiful side of Majora's Mask musically, and not only does he have actual violins, harps, guitars, and horns, and choirs on this thing, he has sound effects from the game thrown in, specifically in the beginning, Link Falls. It has the sound of Link falling, and um, before it starts up into this, one of the first track, uh, I think it's called uh, Majora's Mask, it's called Majora's Mask, and what I like about this album is that it doesn't just straight out give you the, the tones that you want to hear, it doesn't just give you the songs that uh, you'd expect, it, it hints at them at first, it gives you subtle notes, just a couple of notes, or just one note, and then like, shut up! GPS. I don't want your interruptions. Stop talking. It gives you little subtle hints, subtle undertones of the song, or subtle, subtle notes before giving you the full thing that you want to hear. And he even expands on some of these songs, like on uh, Clock Town. He expands on the Clock Town theme a little bit, and the um, the song of hailing and the Clock Tower theme. He expands on those a little bit and uh, gives adds notes to it. It makes it just a little bit bigger. And I think it's awesome. I think it's a fantastic idea. Um, and not only does he have sound effects from the game and he, you know, adds to the songs, he adds his own sound effects. He gives you an atmosphere. Shut up! I'm sick of your mouth! Stop talking! He gives you sound effects that he's put in himself, like um, bell towers and people talking and, and uh, 
footsteps in the door. Oh my god, I'm gonna strangle you! I am going to strangle your face! And footsteps and doors opening and really sets an atmosphere for you to be immersed in whenever you listen to this. And I think that that's cool. It almost sounds like a score to a movie or something. Four miles on Interstate 470 West. I will burn your family. It's just, it's awesome. And I think that it's a really nice thing that someone did together. It shows what a gamer can do when he really likes a game and the music behind it. And like I said, it, it shines both the dark and the and the light moments within Majora's Mask. You have songs like Majora's Wrath and uh, even Majora's Mask and, and the Clockworks and Terrible Fate a little bit that have these solemn, sad, and lovely and uh, couples mask <clears throat> or lovers mask or whatever. It's lovers mask that have these sad, solemn undertones to it that that really are around Majora's Mask as a whole. But you also have tracks like Moon's Tear and Healing by the Great Fairy and the last track, Time's End, which I'll talk about in a minute, but that that shine on the more positive songs like the Astral Observatory theme, which sounds beautiful on this thing. It sounds just as dreamscape-filled as it does in um, Majora's Mask, but it's even bigger. It's just, it's so, so awesome. I love this thing. You have just harps, violins, guitars, the Clock Town theme on this thing is so big, it's freaking awesome! You have choirs, or people just singing with the town ambience going on with the guitars and flutes playing the Clock Town theme with ocarinas. It's just, it's so beautiful. I love it. Ugh. Mm, Theo Fenny, you did a beautiful job. And you see this. I love your work on this thing, man. But that track aside, all of this kind of leads up. You know, you have songs from the, uh, songs from the game thrown in, uh, reinterpreted a bit, all leading up to really the last track of the record, Time's End, the title track, which is, for all intents and purposes, an original score. There's really nothing in the song, at least to me, from what I can understand, from what I can pick out while listening to it. I can never pick out any Zelda songs until the very end. It's a lot of original pieces. There's some there's some honky-tonk, or not honky-tonk, but like bar-sounding piano in it with... Um, even some cues, some references, some some influence from Hans Zimmer's scoring. There's a lot of percussionary hits um, with the violins, and earlier on the record with the percussion, it has kind of a Gaga coup influence as well, um, with a lot of the Taiko sounding drums and stuff, which is awesome. I didn't really touch on that, but it's awesome. Um, but this the the last track, Time Sent. There's some references to Hans Zimmer's scoring style, which isn't bad. You can tell that he definitely has an influence from his stuff, but um, it all leads into the last bit of the song, which is a Zelda song, this woman is just singing, belting the, uh, the, the Song of Time, and it's, it's so amazing, I just, I can't, I can't get past how amazing it sounds before it all rewinds and the album ends. This is, this is truly a fan doing something he wanted to do and doing it well. I love every single second of the thing. It's so beautiful. Zelda fans, if you love this and you haven't gotten it yet, get it. It's so, so good. Uh, I I absolutely love this thing. Starting to finish. I'm trying to pop my ears. Starting to finish. And, um, yeah, I just, I think it's great. So you should get it. It's linked below. I wouldn't, I would pay for it, too. It's worth your money. But, I'm in Ohio. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I just wanted to talk about this album, talk about how amazing it is, review it, spread the word about it a little bit more, even though I've already talked about it a little bit. I wanted to talk about it in full detail. Hopefully, I've gotten you invested. Hopefully, you go get this record. Stop your talking. Stop your talking. Um, but I've been Viral Rack. Again, the album is linked below. Go get it. You guys are gonna get these awesome situations, and I will see you another day.